Let's talk about these dreaded hunger pangs, pains, unsettled feeling. Yeah. Well, I mean, first of all, it could tell you that you're hungry. First of all, but if it comes back all the time, hunger pains could be one of the symptoms of an ulcer. So on an empty stomach, the acid is gonna come and just gnaw at that. And some people feel pain, some people feel nausea, some people just feel an empty hunger feeling. Hmm. So when you eat, like I said, that food neutralizes it yeah. and it's gonna feel better temporarily. An hour or two later, you make a lot of acid and it starts feeling worse. The thing is that if a symptom continues day after day, week after week, it's probably something abnormal. So right. we're gonna gross you out a little bit and I'm gonna show you a cow stomach. Oh, it wow. grossed me Wait, out. That, that is yeah, it looks like a towel, up. doesn't yeah, it? It smells like formaldehyde. Drew letting out some silence. <laughs> no one would take that. It's a little bit. <laughs> no, this is like this is a cow stomach, which is huge compared to a a, a person's stomach. Right, but the that. interesting thing is, all these little ridges and linings, mm -hmm. that's where you make acid from all the time. All those little crevices, that's where you digest food. All these little crevices, that's where acid can build up. The mm. same thing in the in the human stomach. Here we go. I think we should have it on camera. You have all these folds. All of them make acid. And this is what an ulcer looks like. It's a divot. You can have it over here. You can have it in many different parts of the stomach. What's most common is to have it in this little area called the duodenum. So you have a live, open sore. You eat something, that's not going to be affected by the acid, and you're going to feel good, no nausea, no hunger pains temporarily. All right? That can lead to obesity. Absolutely it can. I mean, when you have signs of a really prolonged or advanced ulcer, mm -hmm. you have weight loss. And especially if unfortunately you have cancer in the stomach, which ulcers can lead to, that's weight loss. But sometimes weight gain is your way of treating an, an ulcer. ulcer. And the real concern with ulcers is if not properly treated, that ulcer can erode all the way through the stomach wall into your abdomen, create a life-threatening right. infection. Or you, you know, as we see in alcoholics or other people with, with illnesses, it can erode into a blood vessel Bleed. and cause life-threatening bleeding. That's why if you're, you hit the nail on the head, if you're having these hunger pangs, every time after you, you know, you've eaten and then an hour later, you need to get that checked out because check. that's not just you being hungry. <laughs> that's, no, that's more. Something your body else. telling you something about your health. So some of the treatments are antacid pills that stop the acid production. And imagine the stomach is like an arm you don't use the arm when it's broken. So what an antacid pill does is it stops the acid production, right, mm -hmm. for a month or so, and it heals by itself. If you get a flare-up, you can take good things like liquid antacids. You know, so very simple things. Uh, but non-steroidals really make things worse. In summary, the treatment of ulcers has come light years. I mean, back in medical school, when I went to medical school, a lot of these latest... Um, generation antiacids didn't even exist. Correct, correct. We've gone through and they were doing surgery for ulcers and things like that, doing these cutting uh, the, vagotomies. The, 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 the vagus nerve, there's a nerve that, in, that causes the stomach to make acid, and we mm -hmm. used to cut that for people to heal. Now, mm -hmm. that surgery is almost unheard of. So you put on people on medications that just stop acid production, and a surgery is unheard of. Dr. Mm -hmm. Jorge. Hey, my pleasure. Always yeah. a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.